Hi Scorpio! Welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. We're doing your weekly love reading. I'm sorry if I'm scratching my nose. I am very sensitive to the sun. I love the sun, but I can't be in a room where... <laughs> I can't breathe. I need to open the windows. Alright, so anyhow, let me proceed with the reading for Scorpio. Um, weekly love reading, one main focus, and three cards affecting the situation. We'll do the singles first, and then we'll follow with the couples. Alright, so main energy... Hmm, someone is waiting, okay, waiting, surrendering, and we have, okay, for the dreams of a lifetime that you guys are planning. Oh, dream of a lifetime. I just said it, lifetime, the world. Okay, so, anyhow, um, here you are, single. You have, you, this is the time that you are waiting for. You know that it was risky when you were waiting for this someone, so I'm sensing single, you were waiting for someone who was what with, so, with already involved. Oh, okay, I'm sorry about that, sorry bro. I'm gonna try to do this. Okay, Scorpio, this is your dreams. It's not illusions, that's, how I, that's, that's not how I see it because you have your Ace of Swords. The wielding of a new beginning because you know there was a promise. You're waiting for someone. It will come to you slowly, but it will eventually be given to you, okay? So hold on to that, whoever you're trying to meet or you're trying to manifest. If you're waiting for your soulmate, yes, wait for them. If you are waiting for someone who, has, who is with someone else, because, you know, the way just I see this three, three of swords, you're going to be a third party, wait for them. Things will manifest. Passion. Okay, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Release that energy, the love and care, and then just hate, just hold on to it. Very nice. Okay, so couples, I'm pretty sure you guys are waiting for this, but again, if you're couples, are you? I will be scratching my nose. Yes. <laughs> okay, because I need to open the window, but I need first. Sorry, I shouldn't have have done that. It fell off. It, it fell off my my desk where no i mean my cloth which i don't read if it's not on my my cloth just something that i do practice i mean just it's just for me if it's not in my cloth it's not to be read okay okay so let's see for the couples what we have for the couples main issue that they're facing this week ah i shovel this okay i'm gonna shovel it again just as i shuffled it i cut it up Okay, let's see what you guys are facing in danger with, and you are waiting. You're waiting again. Oh, now it shows. Okay. You're waiting. Blindly. You're willing to take the risk. You're willing to take uh, whatever it takes. Because underneath this waiting period time, Ten of Pentacles, you're waiting for a marriage. You're holding on to this relationship, couples. Okay. Because you see this, you're taking a chance, okay? Either this person has a, a little bit of a tendency to be toxic that you are with and you're willing to take the risk to stay on to the relationship because the promise of a happily ever after is there. You're, you're going to calculate the, the risk that you have to take and before, you know, this is you as a spirit. Like, you know already what will happen and you've seen it. Couples willing to take the risk. Must be a soulmate if you're willing to take the risk of, um, of waiting for this person to commit. That's what I see. Oh, attraction. This comes out every time. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. I think you are enjoying it fully, but however, you're lacking to express it. I'm going to get two more cards. What do they mean by about the attraction? Okay, so Scorpio. Two more cards. Or Scorpio. I see. Yes. Yes, this is your soulmate. Six of Cups. It's all about past. Um, for me, this is a past lover coming to to your life again because you're we. This is your soulmate. You're waiting for them to to manifest basically as a couple. You're waiting for them to come into senses that you guys are meant to be. The other person is not accepting the whole soulmate idea, but this is a new beginning. You have the you have the will of the universe to start something new with this person. Not new in the sense that you are guys are a couple, but to bring it to the next level. Of the happily ever after. Okay, so Scorpio, sorry about my allergy. I will see you guys again next week. My name is Sal. Bye.